hey, see out there, you right? Yeah! yeah. yeah. the do? Good morning. Welcome to the CLB News Team. My favorite Celtic band is Newfoundland's own Great Big Sea. I really enjoy them, but especially their song, When I'm Up, Mary Mac, Run Run Away, End of the World, An Ordinary Day. They have great energy. I enjoy seeing them live, Maxville, Highland Games, many years ago. Happy St. Friday Day! Hi, I'm Laura Francis from the CLB News Team. Today I will share a couple of jokes, talk about Dreamweavers and the Girls Club. My first joke is, what do you get when you cross poison ivy and a four-leaf clover? What do you get? A rash of good luck. <laughs> Why do frogs like St. Patrick's Day? They're always wearing green. The girls club runs Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 4.30 to 5.15. All the ladies from CLB are welcome to attend and enjoy. Two students from Sheridan College help run the club. We chat about our interests, our current events. If one of the ladies have a topic to discuss, we enjoy it. We enjoy our each other's company and we keep in touch with our peers due to this difficult time during COVID. Dreamweavers. Every other Thursday from 3.30 till 4.30, Dreamweavers discusses current events happening within CLB and or suggestions for CLB. As a Dreamweaver, we used to volunteer at dances and events held by CLB. Due to COVID, we discuss ways to improve CLB while staying safe at home. Right now, Dreamweavers is planning a virtual conference with other community living, Oakville and North Halt. We have more information at a later date. Don't forget the St. Patrick's Day dance on Wednesday at 6.45. Have a great day, everybody. This is Laura signing off. Hey, sports fans. This is a sports reporter, Brad Cook, from the CLB News team. And here is what's happening in sports this week. Since this week is all about St. Patrick's Day, I would like to talk about some Irish sports. Um, Gaelic is one of them, and it consists of 15 players per a team, and the objective is to get the ball into the net. Hurling is another one. The stick that they used to play with is a hurley. It is one of the fastest sports on grass. And and then lastly, Kamaji is the woman's version of hurling, but with a few rule changes. And it's also part of the Irish heritage. Now in other sports, the Toronto Maple Leafs won a nail biter against the Winnipeg Jets, but they lost on Saturday against them on hockey night in Canada. The Toronto Blue Jays are dominating in spring training. Go Jays, go! And in the Tim Hortons Briar, Team Ontario won against a wild card team in curling. And lastly, in golf, uh, Lee Watson won the Players' Championship. And now, now prepare for the Masters, because it's happening starting on Thursday. This has been your Irish sports slash regular sports update. I am Brad Cook from the CLB News Team signing off. Now eat some Lucky Charms because they want to be Irishly delicious and stay safe. Hi, this is Jeff Hopkins from the CLB News Team. Uh, since this month is still Women's Month, I'm going to be talking about two women athletes that I really like, Serena and Venus Williams. And then at the end, I'll have a... Uh, St. Patrick's Day joke to tell. Serena and Venus Williams are two U.S. professional tennis players. They used to be coached by their dad, Richard Williams. Venus is a seven-time 
Grand Slam champ winner, and Serena is a 23-time Grand Slam winner. They play both singles and doubles in tennis together. They had a noted rivalry from between the 2001 U.S. Open and the 2017 Australian Open. Serena leads the head-to-head in the series 19-12. Serena has won seven Wimbledons and six U.S. Opens, and Venus has won five Wimbledons and two U.S. Opens. They have won four Olympic gold medals together at the 2008 Beijing Olympics and the 2012 London Olympics. They have won one each in the singles and three in the doubles in the Olympic. They both play right-handed tennis. They were both ranked number one in singles and doubles by the Women's Tennis Association. Serena first won her first U.S. Open in 1999, and Venus won her first U.S. Open in 2000. Venus is a year older than Serena. I have seen, watched, Serena play in the Rogers Cup in Toronto once in the semifinals. It only lasted for under an hour. I have followed their career of both Venus and Serena for many years. That is why I think they should be recognized for Women's Month. Now for the joke. Why shouldn't you iron a four-leaf clover? You why? don't want you don't want to press your luck. For CLB News, this is Jeff Hopkins. Peace out. Hi, my name is Danielle Moll and I'm part of the CLB News team. And today I'll be reporting on CLB birthdays. And today's CLB birthdays are Raymond Hoffman, March 15th. Brad Cook, March 16th. Tyler Sheeran, March 20th. John Slavia, March 20th. Mark Pugel, March 21st. And today's celebrity birthdays are actress Eva Longoria and rock singer Brett Michaels. And today is National Napping Day. This is Danielle signing off. Have a great weekend. Remember to wear your mask. St. Patrick's Day. It is a celebration. Celebrations are generally involved in culture. Fall, fall leaf clovers are considered good luck. Some countries wear green tire, some rock, and some drink green beer. Some fairy tale. If you see a rainbow at the end, the pot of gold. I didn't buy leprechauns. This is Adam Pazit from the CBN News team signing off. Yay! Wake up! Wake up! Okay, I'll do the weather. Now that I'm awake, yes, times change. But here's your weather with Dave for the week. On Tuesday, March 16th, we're going to have some clouds, and it's going to be four. During the night, we're going to have some clouds, and it's going to be zero. On Wednesday, March 17th, we're going to have some sun and clouds, and it's going to be eight. During the night, it's going to be cloudy, and it's going to be minus one. Thursday, March 18th, it's going to be cloudy, and it's going to be eight. During the night... It's going to be cloudy, minus 5. On Friday, March 19th, we're going to have some sun with a little bit of clouds. And there's going to be 3. During the night, it's going to be minus 5. And here's your weekend. On Saturday, March 20th, we're going to have some sun. And it's going to be 9. Yeah. And during the night, it's going to be minus 2. And your Sunday, March 
21st, we're going to have some sun. And it's going to be 12. And then during the night, it's going to be minus 1. Time to go back to bed. Here's your weather with Dave. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm from the CLB News Team. I'm going to talk about St. Patrick Day. Every year on March 17th, people around the world celebrate the Irish St. Patrick Day. I want to give you some facts on on how to celebrate St. Patrick during the pandemic. Wear green and make green pancakes. Get green food, cooking and have fun with your meals. Eat eh, Irish fruits, the, the cornbread, cabbage, shepherd's pie, and I, Irish soda. This is Stephanie signing off. Take on the day, you guys. Remember to social distance when you go out. And remember to wear a mask. And peace out. I have some interesting facts. Uh, about St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's Day was created in honor of the late uh, St. Patty. He was kidnapped from Rome, Britain, and taken to Ireland. He escaped back from home and then returned to Ireland in hopes of banishing snakes from the country. These snakes are a symbolic for evil, as his go- goal was influence Christianity into the people of Ireland. The celebration is better known as the, the Fest of St. Patrick's, primarily a tradition Ireland, Newfoundland, Labrador, and uh, Mon- Mon- Monrest. Shamrocks are originally a sacred plant of Ireland and why they are famous for bring luck when they have four leaves. Thank you. I'm Chad uh, CL- from CLB News and I hope everyone has a good week. Welcome to the morning to you ladies. I'm Chris Stafford. Today I'm going to be talking about Jack Septicai. His real name is Sean William McClellan. He's an Irish uh, YouTuber and Twitch gamer. He's most famous for saying, top of the morning to you, laddies, like a boss and speed is key. His whip sound effect uh, when he does this intro is what his trademark is. He has over 26.6 million subscribers with over 13.9 billion views. He's married to a famous YouTuber and Twitch gamer named Evelyn Spalders, also known as Gerald Gamer Gab. Sean has raised over 660,000 from playing Outbreak the Walking Zombie 2 and Plague Incorporated. He also did a poll to, to to determine his viewers what game he's going to be playing next. He also provided his voice for a game called v- Vacation Simulator to a welcoming to the game. He also stars in a Disney XD TV show called Player Select. That is my favorite show to watch on Fridays and Saturdays. It's on at 8, 8, 8 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. One thing you didn't know about Sean that his mother called him Jack as a boy. But one th- one, one day he was playing soccer and he was a goalkeeper, just a, just an FYI. A player headed the ball. Sean got caught on his eye, uh, and his with his glasses, and in in his cut got infected. That's how his YouTube name got born. His nickname is Septic Eye. Funny, isn't it? He was also a drummer in a band called Race to the Ground, which is which is a indie metal core based at the genre. When he was lesser known, he had an American accent so that he didn't get made fun of his Irish accent. In honor of St. Patty's Day, Jack Septicai is the best Irish YouTube uh, around. So again, top of the morning to you laddies. This is Chris Stafford signing off. Peace, have a happy St. Patty's Day. And make sure you drink, make sure you drink scoops of whiskey today. Thanks for watching CLB News Team. Have a great St. Patty's Day.